the army has got institutional memory of getting the results that it wants. Yeah. And there are three phases of it, how it goes about. After the 1970 elections, which were the freest and fairest ever in Pakistan, led to the breakaway of East Pakistan and became Bangladesh. The yeah. army has taken an institutional decision since then that no election can be left to the whims and fancies of the electorate. They have to mm. engineer to ensure they get a result which will lead to their being able to dominate the government and to ensure that there is no such thing that ever happens again. So they do it in three phases. There is a pre-poll rigging in which they lay the groundwork. There is rigging during the polling. And then there is political engineering after the results are known. In this case, they rigged, the pre-poll rigging was massive, including denying PTI the symbol, as a result of which all their um, sort of candidates had to contest as independents without a symbol. And all of them are pressurized in different ways. We all know that. During the actual yeah. voting, when they found that the trends were showing uh, a wave in favor of Imran Khan, then they moved in and, you know, the phones were in any case switched off, results were delayed. When they did their rigging, would have done it in a limited number of constituencies. Now that the results show there are 100 independents and 70 odd uh, PML and 50 odd PPP. So now they will get to work on the independents and cobble a coalition government, which would be like a PDM 2.0 with hmm. the MQM, with the JUI, with other smaller parties and these independents. So they come into power. It will be a weak coalition, will be dependent on the army to keep it together and the army will have its way. So to answer your question, as Stalin put it, it does not matter who votes or how mm. many votes. If what matters is who counts. So to that extent, mm. the army is going to get the end result of what it had always wanted, a weak coalition mm -hmm. government uh, that they can you manipulate said and control. Weak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, do you expect it to last? No, that's just it. It lasts so long as the army wants it to last. And if the army finds that, you know, this is not working, they can pull the plug at any time. Mm -hmm. So at least, but they will give this government a minimum of a year, year and a half, two years to perform. Because, you know, quick elections or quick turnaround of elections is not something that the army wants. The government, the country can't afford another expensive election. So they will allow this government to run. And because it's a weak coalition government, which will be malleable to army's influence, the army will probably get along with it fine, so long as they are able to deliver on governance, especially on the economy, and they don't interfere in what the army considers its preserve. But you know, these days, the army even considers the economy as its preserve. This latest mm -hmm. innovation of this strategic uh, this SIFC, uh, Special Investment Facilitation Council, which is added, mm -hmm. which the army chief is very much in control over there. So, so long as the government doesn't get ideas that it is running policy, I think the government will continue minimum of two years.